Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm super excited to present you a great SUV, a great family car with a lot of features. I was super impressed when I see the car first time and I love to present you and to go through all the details of the new Renault Austral 2023 model. And I have with me right here the Techno model, that's the basis entry level. And I will show you why it's more than enough to buy the entry level model because you have like everything here anyway don't forget that i will have a separate video with the same uh, renault austral test drive there you can see all the information and the feedback of a driving so check out on the channel probably it's already there if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out now before we go forward with the technical data and the review if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out gallicar garage in schoenbühl i will leave the link in the description so if you want to buy the car see the car test to have the car check them out guys totally deserve it now i want to go to the technical data and then we will start the review interior exterior and all the details of the car so first of all i want to tell you that i have with me right here the new renault austral this is the techno version the techno version is the entry basis level entry version that comes at the price of 37,600 francs so for this money you can get it basis entry level version an suv a renault austral that it's it's fabulous anyway you will see in the video now guys if you add in this price it comes with all these features right here that i will present you also in the video and if you want optional also in the in the basis price let's don't forget that it comes with digital display cockpit with led lights outside with navigation and also all these multimedia system uh, it comes also with two zone climatic system 19 inch rims it comes with uh, cruise control start stop system and if you want to have some optionals this car comes also with a few optionals uh, you can pause the video and read it out but i will also explain you right now so it comes with comfort pack 700 francs sunroof it comes with this beautiful sunroof 1200 francs extra but it's gorgeous you will see it later then it comes with advanced safety features 400 francs totally deserve to get it then it comes with advanced driving assist system uh, that's also 400 and 700 and then you have this trunk automatically lift gate on the trunk you have to pay 500 and for the advanced safety driving it's 700 and for advanced safety it's 400 so that's something to keep in mind then you have like metallic color 1550 it looks beautiful this white you will see when we go outside and then wireless charging for your phone 150 francs uh, totally deserve to get it you will see it it's down here and it's it's really really useful the price of the car in the end will go to 42,800 francs i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea about the price in your country the price may be different but guys i tell you in this price you won't get an suv so good as this one that we have right here it is super complex and you will see what i say that uh, now let's go to technical data so the weight of the car 1621 kilograms 6.6 .6 liter is the estimated consumption 149 co2 grams it's in c class efficient class but this is not enough let me give you even more details more technical details about the car so now this is the techno entry level if you want to go higher up is the Techno Esprit Alpine that looks beautiful. I also have a video on my channel with it. Then Iconic and then the, the top end version, Iconic Esprit Alpine. It's beautiful. I mean, this car, exterior rims, some elements outside, the car looks fabulous. So let's go to technical data. The model that I have with me right here, it comes with 1.3 liter petrol engine, four cylinders in line. The top speed of the car, it's 175 km per hour, zero to one. 109.7 seconds the power of the car 158 horsepower 270 newton meters and it's connected with a seven speed automatic transmission very good transmission very good combination you can see in the test drive video how good it is i explain you there a little bit more the trunk space 500 liters and if you fall down the seats completely you will have 1525 liters now because it's a mild hybrid system the car come also with a battery of 0.15 kilowatt hour it's a lithium battery it's a small battery that helps the car sometimes 
for cruising, for starting the engine. It's really useful in terms of CO2 emission and also helping the engine and lower the consumption a little bit. The fuel tank capacity 55 liters, also the turning circle 11.2 meters. The car come in the front with independent type McPherson suspension and on the rear with torsion suspension also. A ventilated brake disc on the front and ventilated brake disc on the rear and it comes kind of standard with 19 inch rims integrated in this price and I think 19 inch rims they are more than enough for the car for the size of the car they are much more practical now guys those are the most important technical data if you still have questions ask me down below let's start the review exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion here is the key as always we will start with the key is the same key as Renault use it also on other model very light very nice to keep it in your pocket what you can do with the key the great part is the fact that the key come with a nice keyless entering system that means if you go farther away from the car like for example i have like five meters here the car will lock automatically but if you go closer look at this you don't have to press any button the car will unlock for you automatically also it comes with electric folding mirrors but right now the door it's unlocked if you go farther away you will see that the car look at this five meters and it's locked how cool is that great system i like that keyless entrance so as i said lock and unlock uh, electric folding mirrors and of course the car come with a 500 francs option to open the trunk automatically all you have to do is just press this button for three seconds and then the trunk will be open also press it three seconds and the trunk will close very simple just like that i like the fact that you don't have to always hold the uh, button also you have another button here this is for the lights if you press this button you will turn on the lights of the car it comes with full led lights i will present you in the video as well uh, now let me put the key inside and turn on the engine and also the lights and let me put here let me oh you can see a nice graphic here i will show you also the multimedia the multimedia is fabulous i tell you guys you will love it okay turn on now the fog lamps are on as well and let me talk a little bit about the exterior design first of all i find the car very beautiful i find it attractive even though it's a basis entry level model it doesn't look like i mean when i see it first of all i was thinking that this is probably the top end version but now and this chrome design around the windows and the rims and chrome up there i mean the the gray uh, roof rails and uh, different uh, aspect and different elements in the front look like it's it's not a base entry level and the, the glossy plastic for example uh, it's it looks much more premium and much more expensive and from my point of view i think renault and the designers in the last years they did a great job with the cars they look really beautiful and if you look at the new megan there it looks so nice in my opinion really really beautiful cars so yeah again great job from my point of view really beautiful car now let's go a little bit closer and to talk in details about some elements for example here on the roof we have a huge glass roof that you will see it when you go inside we have these roof rails in gray uh, the radio antenna it's nice and beautiful it's modern it's it's kind of glossy black it looks uh, also nice this roof spoiler here on the upper side it looks nice also in glossy plastic we have here the brake light led light tinted windows on the back very nice integrated uh, in the body of the car also tinted windows on the side here it comes standard on the basis entry level model also chrome design around the windows look relatively nice uh, down here we have some rubber also it's much better than that hard plastic we have a wiper in the back quite nice and overall this is the upper side of the car i want to show you also that the car come with some camera for reading the traffic speed limit lane assist and all that safety features also sensors for the rain and lights are there so they work also good you can see on the test drive video also let's keep in mind that this windshield it's heated i will show you when we go inside also the mirrors and the, the roof of the car the upper side of the car it's in black glossy and it looks beautiful i mean the combination of white with black it's it always lasts 
forever uh, in terms of beauty. Now here is the mirror, big mirrors, LED light on the turning signals, huge mirrors with the blind spot technology in the corner right there. Also the handles are very simple and they feel quite good. The doors quality, you can hear it for yourself. It, it, sound, it sounds quite nice. Here in the back, it sounds a little bit better than in the front. Not sure why, but yeah, it's relatively good quality. Front end of the car, it looks a little bit like the new Megane. If you look there in the back, it looks nice. I like it. I really like it. And I like also the new logo. The hood, quite simple. Some uh, lines up here. Then on the down, down grille here, we have this new Renault logo with the, the radar behind it for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. Some chrome design, some kind of chrome dark here in this area. Then we have air intakes uh, to, to cool down some air intakes that let the air to go to the radiator and then to cool down different parts. Down here we have another air intakes and it's open. No pedals inside there to close or open. But I like how they designed this lines here it looks like a mercedes amg a little bit if you look at those lines i don't know that's that's something that remember uh in my in my head it stays that i don't know why because mercedes have these lines on the on the grill on amg uh it looks nice i mean the front bumper look quite quite nice also here we have some air intakes real air intakes that allow to go the air to go inside there and then to go outside around the the rims some glossy down here six parking sensors in the front quite nice and also down here you have a simple simple plastic but overall very nice very clean design and modern here we have full led lights high beam low beam everything led very useful in the nighttime the turning signals led as well the way they design it's lovely and if you go close there you can see renault led pure vision that comes in the standard version and i was super impressed and if i look at them they look really cool and Renault they are quite good with light in terms of lightning uh, they make great great lights and in the last year they they did great lights I like the fact that they add this protection for the body of the car and we have this protection everywhere around the car uh, it's a glossy plastic this is not so practical because it will get scratch uh, and lines in time so like spider scratches small scratches but it's very practical and it looks nice with the car the fact that they make it glossy it looks beautiful but in time it will scratch faster but very very uh, useful because you can change this very easy but you don't need to repaint the car in case you make some rust in this area or stuff like that so very useful i like that part here very cool so great job even down here on the down part of the doors if you open the door if you hit the door if you hit something with the door in the down part uh, you don't have to worry too much because you change that plastic very easy also in the back part the same story the same protection plastic here around the wheel so again very practical in the back kind of the same story full led light even on the number plate we have led light so we don't have any any yellow light on the car so from this point of view great job reverse camera it's here we have the new logo and austral uh, writing here very nice here we have the led lights the tail light blinker and also the brakes and the reverse light and uh, the fog lamps you can see them down there they are full led so everything is led and they look nice in this price range guys 42,000 francs really good price really really good price for an suv going down even the bumper it's in glossy plastic six parking sensors in the back here as well and here we have some light reflectors the fog lamps and here we have some matte uh, plastic so really really look good uh, and i like it the exhaust pipe it's somewhere under the car here on the left side if you're wondering beautiful design it looks nice i like it now guys 19 inch rims they come standard on the car they are more than perfect for the economy for the comfort and for the look i mean it looks quite nice and also it fits really well with the chrome of the car now here we have the tank 55 liter tank and we have the easy fuel on the tank that means you can uh, put it inside just press the button you don't have to do anything open any cap or stuff like that we have renault writing also in the back here beautiful ventilated brake discs on the rear small brake discs 
uh, 19 inch rims uh, by the way and here in the front ventilated brake discs much bigger in the front and other than that this is the exterior oh boy it's cold and it's snowing why why it's snowing now when i have to review the car anyway i think if i'm not wrong you can get the car with a 360 degrees camera optional but this uh, basis model doesn't have it anyway let me show you the engine bay pretty fast open up the engine bay and close the lights i think i can close it now because we don't need it anymore right okay oh wow automatic lift gate i didn't expect that but thank you renault because it helped me right now not frozen my hands and i can show you the engine uh, bay part so this is the engine 1.3 liter petrol engine four cylinder in line it's quite silent when you are inside the car i will show you here we have the fuse box air filter battery cooling liquid cooling here is the wiper liquid by the way and yeah other than that this is it guys anyway let me close this also i like the fact that here they add some rubber they add some good quality here so renault in the last years they grow a lot i mean i i really like what they did with the cars uh, you have a button here you just press that button automatic lift gate and you open the trunk this is it up here you have two handles manual handles to close the trunk you have the button to close it automatically and this is the entrance relatively big entrance uh, also you have this protection for the trunk that i will take it out and i will show you how it looks without it but overall nice entrance here uh, and also relatively big space 500 liters i wish Odo to have a flat floor at the entrance but it's 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 just fine here we have some plastic with the lines uh, we have like five centimeter deepness here if i'm not wrong and we have also some storage space here hooks uh, in the corners here i like it also i like the fact that you have this handle to fold down the seats i'll show you later some hooks for uh, groceries in the boat parts and also we have a 12 volt port this is again another practical thing also uh, normal yellow halogen light and uh, under the floor here i know you want to find out what it is uh, you have a big space where you can put different items but you don't have a repair kit and also this is it under here it's nothing else if i'm not wrong yeah this is all so this is the space guys in case you're wondering uh, what it is under there it's okay it's just fine now let me take this out and then i will fold down the seats and i will show you uh, the rest of the space right now i just take out that protection and you can take a look one more time of the trunk and how much space you have here and it's relatively fine uh, it can be a little bit more practical but it's more than enough another thing that i wish to have here in the car is the middle part to be fold down to carry long items like skis or stuff like that so if you want to fold down uh, the seats you have to go uh, here and then you just pull this like that but the thing is it's easy to fold it down i love that but the thing is that you don't have a middle part but it's very easy to fold it down something that's on other cars it's totally missing so yeah from this point of view practical and nice now if you look at the entrance it's relatively big so you can carry big items without any problem but the thing is that you don't have a flat floor here so if you need a flat floor uh yeah it, it doesn't go uh totally flat but for most of the people will be uh, more than enough in my in my opinion also i love that glass roof all over the roof the way it looks is just fabulous and for me personally it's more than enough space and i think also for a family with two kids it's more than enough space here to carry different uh, items and also you can carry even mobile parts or big items without any problem if we go on the side here open the door from the side the opening it's relatively big so you have uh, relatively big entrance here in the car also the seat belt you have to go uh, to put it on the side and this is the space here you can see for yourself also uh, a lot of space on the legs room uh, and also the transmission tunnel is not that big so it's relatively fine because you can carry items also in this area here and this is a big plus also you can see in the back one more time this is the space right there 
and those are the seats so you cannot push it more down this is it here you have like five maybe five centimeters uh, step here between uh, the seats and the trunk in the back there so yeah uh, this is it I will put it back in a second and then we will go inside the car to see the rest of it all right guys now before we go inside we will talk a little bit about the door here we have a big window from one piece if you want to fold it down i just show you right now you can fold it almost all the way down it's a tinted window it looks nice and it works quite fast in terms of quality on the doors uh they look lovely in terms of design beautiful beautiful design the quality here on the upper side we have plastic you don't even notice until you not touch it then you have this chrome that looks beautiful you have a speaker a small speaker right quite nice integrated there and i like very much the fact that we have glossy plastic handles something new that you don't find it in all the cars i like the fact that it brings new elements to the car uh, here we have leather uh, stitches in white soft material on the armrest also here handle the button look nice uh, for the windows also plenty of storage space i like that and also we have another speaker down here the entrance in the car relatively big you can go inside the car without any problem you can see from this angle also that beautiful glass roof lovely all over the roof there it looks just fabulous and also you can see how much space you have here in the back lovely space a lot a lot of space and you will see when i go inside how much space you have uh, the seats look also nice they are new and also again another new element to the car that's kind of unique and look different than in other cars i was surprised when i see them because they look nice and they look nice in combination with the roof i will show you in a second how the roof look like uh, it's really special we have leather on the side stuff material in the middle stuff material headrest on the side look super super fancy is a fix for child you can install two child seats in the back here also leather here and also stuff material quite soft very very comfortable seats also in the middle here you have an armrest with two cup holders also stuff material armrest quite nice and practical in the middle you have uh, quite leather here for the middle person and the great part is that you can adjust those seats you can see from here from down here you have those handles uh, that you can let me let me do that forward and backward and in this way you can win more space in the back there uh, also from here you can pull this like that and you can uh-huh you can fold it down and you can see you can win here like 20 centimeters if you want to carry more big items in the trunk there and yeah this is this is re really good and also you have two position here you can position your seat even uh, backward so yeah it's quite hard to do that with one hand but yeah i did it now let me go inside here now here the transmission tunnel is relatively small it has kind of 10 centimeters but quite quite small and also in the middle here we have two usb-c and also we have the vents um, that feel good when you touch them so quite nice very useful those usb ports here is the space i want to show you in the front uh, this is kind of my driving position because i put it too much on the back you can see this this angle here is too much on the back and this one is much more realistic so i will stay behind here so this is the space behind myself 173 centimeters i have uh, if you ask yourself plenty of space for me and i can stretch my legs under the seat uh, a little bit so that's that's more than enough on my head i have like four five four or five fingers i should say over my head here it's more than enough space for me but i can go even further in the front and then i have even more space on my back on my on my head uh, here we have a handle we have a hook and we have this different special roof uh, design that I never see it before it's kind of the same as the the fabric material seats I can zoom in a little bit so you can see them better really special and really cool I should say the roof uh, and also the quality it's quite good in terms of visibility also here it's soft and nice where your arm is resting the visibility is perfect I mean they designed perfect the window so you have a good visibility outside also you have a small window in the back there so yeah it's relatively comfortable here in the back i feel like i have a lot of space i don't know and also is this beautiful glass roof that you cannot open it it's fixed here uh that look nice also you have some led lights with touch just put your finger and they will turn on and off 
just like that super cool going in the middle it's relatively easy a little bit stiffer here on your uh, butt and also on the back it's a little bit stiffer because you have that armrest but it's fine i mean for short medium trips up to 500 kilometers you will stay here without any problem the space up here it's a little bit less uh, here if you go to the roof but if you go to the window it's a little bit more if you stretch the hand completely right completely left and i can have here free person uh, without any problem even for short medium trips without any problem even long trips i can stay even with your legs together here so you can save more space this is the space on the legs uh, so you can see right here plenty of space even here in the middle so yeah no problem from my point of view a lot of interesting things in the front right there flickering on the screen is not from the screen it's from the camera uh, the screen is working perfectly so in real if you would see the the screen you will see that your eyes cannot see those uh, fragrances that it's flickering and it's worked perfectly but the design of the dash look just super modern super super futuristic and and nice and i love it i love the way they design it it's clean it's nice uh, it allows you to have a great visibility outside because it's make it quite flat there and you have a lovely visibility in the uh, multimedia and yeah anyway let's go in the front guys all right here in the front we have a big window from one piece that allow you to have a great visibility in the mirror and you will see in a second when we go inside now the doors design are quite similar with the back design but with a little bit more improvement and in my opinion it looks really good and it, it it looks premium and it feels premium on the upper side this time we have soft material everywhere so in this area you have soft and nice material then you have this beautiful chrome with led light that it's changed the colors depending on the driving mode you are the handles again in black glossy beautiful we have a speaker here down here leather everywhere leather everywhere stitches a handle glossy plastic the buttons for the windows uh, mirrors electrically adjustable then you have a huge space in the door bands i like that very much i find it super super practical that you can put your things here without any problem we have a speaker here and the entrance in the car it's also big 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 entrance you can see from this angle the entrance you can see the seats and um, you can see this this part here also the seats in the front are electrically adjustable for the driver the passenger have manual adjustable seats but in the basis uh, entry level version you come it comes with electric seats so this is this is awesome you can adjust from here the seats depend how you want very simple normal pedals so no aluminum pedals or stuff like that on the uh, entry level version but I want to show you also from this angle one more time the glass roof and I want to show you the seats. The seats are super super nice for a basis entry level version. I was impressed to see how good quality uh, have those seats and they, they feel really really good. Side support in leather, down, up, big enough uh, to sit here without any problem and also the headrest look quite nice and different. Good, here you have some storage space in this area electronic handbrake auto hold button is here then you have the lane uh, assist here you can activate disactivate from here traction control open the trunk and also from here you can play with the brightness of the screen uh, then again i like very much the way they design the dashboard and the way they integrate the screens and the way they integrate those new vents so you can see the vents are super crazy Look, look how futuristic they are and they feel super super good when you touch them they feel incredible nice and also from here you can close it and open it super nice soft material or yeah soft material everywhere here on the dashboard i like that very much really cool i mean it's 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 impressive what they did with the car let me go inside oh yeah and here inside you can see the visibility around the windows it's perfect we have big mirrors great visibility on the windshield uh, the windshield is it's quite big and you have gorgeous visibility outside uh, i will go around so you can see it also in the back there also the visibility in the back it's good 
you can see one more time the seat in the back there and here in the middle I, I was impressed to see how good quality it is so you have leather you have these stitches you have soft material here uh, the center console looks super fancy glossy plastic you press it you open this up huge space here also it's a little bit extended in the front there a lot of space I like it really I like it I like also this glossy plastic and I like this Iceland I will call it the Iceland the wireless charging Iceland here in the middle you can put your phone to, to wireless charging so you just put it here and you can play with this Iceland like that so it's it's super fancy if you put it in the front you will have here a lot of space huge space here uh, to put different different things and it has also an LED light inside there. You cannot see it right now in the nighttime, you can see it. But look how nice it's closed, this aisles on here. And then in the front, you have two cup holders there. Also an LED light. You can see it, a blue light. And then you have a place for the key, two USB-C ports, super, super useful, and a 12 volt port. Fabulous. I mean, more than enough and more than enough space here and very smart design it. So yeah, great job again. Now the wipers, you already see them before. And when it's winter, like now it's minus one degrees or five degrees, the, the water will get icy. But because the car come standard with this button here that allow you to defrost the windshield, you just press it and in the winter time, it will defrost in one minute automatically. It's just fabulous. It's very useful in the, in the winter time. For example, look at there how much ice and snow it's on the cars and you just press one button and it's defrosting. It's super, super good. Now the button for blinkers is here. Lock the car here. Also you have the buttons, physical button for climatic system shortcuts. For example, you turn on the climatic system very fast, just like that, the vent speed from here. Then you have also the button for heated steering wheel so you hit it steering wheel free position for the seats heated seats for you and the passenger in the front so what you need more than that guys i tell you the car come with a lot of great features uh dual zone climatic system standard from here you change the temperature so you can choose the temperature uh, the vent speed and all that stuff it's very simple to use it even though you have this gorgeous touchscreen multimedia system and it's big enough you have also physical button to adjust the climatic system and it's so easy to use while you're driving you can check out the test drive to see uh, it's it's fabulous i i like it so great job renault that you, you was able to integrate physical buttons with a gorgeous gorgeous multimedia system also here is the vents between the uh, the screens quite nice integrated we have vents here also nice integrated in the dashboard with glossy plastic somehow they, they managed to add some fabric material also in this area that fit quite nice with um, the roof and this a pillar that the a pillar come also with this kind of stuff material quite nice there uh, look how nice you open the glow box you just press that button this is the glow box relatively big you have a light there yeah quite nice quite big more than useful led light inside here depending on which driving mode you are the car will change the light soft material up here also you have a speaker up there speaker here i like how clean is the dashboard you don't have anything outside everything it's straight and clean and that that allow you to have a good visibility outside uh, when you're driving the car and if you can see from the driver point of view you have a perfect visibility to the uh, cockpit to the multimedia system to outside because they manage to design this beautiful steering wheel lovely steering wheel futuristic and cool and i like the logo i like the way they, they make the steering wheel the size of the steering wheel the design of the steering wheel the grip it's it's fabulous and also it's easy and soft and i love it also you can adjust it manually forward backward left right very simple nothing complicated here and it has also those pedals to change the gear manually if you want to have some fun you can change the gear manually um, yeah everything feel feel gorgeous and super nice and also it feels super premium now if you want to change the gears we don't have a big stalk in the middle we have this 
little stall behind the steering wheel here where you can go in drive you can go in reverse just like that it's super simple when you go in reverse you can see also the reverse camera the car come with a reverse camera with active lines there uh, they are very useful and the camera is super useful even though the car come with six parking sensors in the front six parking sensors on the rear if you want to put it in park you just press this button and right now the car is in park it's super easy the same as mercedes or tesla have this stock you can change the gears super super easy and super fast so I like that very very much to be honest uh, a lot of cool features in the car here now here's the start stop engine button this is uh, also the start stop system uh, what can I show you now let's go to the buttons on the steering wheel something that I wish to see on all the cars these days is the different driving modes button multi-sense button on the steering wheel that means you can change the different driving modes from the steering wheel you just press the button comfort mode echo mode sport mode and personalize here you can customize the way you want it every time you change these driving modes you can see the colors uh, on the ambient light will change to green depend you can see right now depending on which driving mode you are sport it's red it's, it's, it's super cool so you can see even here even on the dashboard you change uh, this driving mode and the, the colors will change as well so super cool now on the steering wheel you have these glossy touch buttons for example here you can um, activate the cruise control you can see the test drive there i show you more and here you have the voice command uh, and the different views on the cockpit and also the telephone so for example right now you are able to see on this beautiful screen the screen is fabulous the resolution the colors everything it's gorgeous and you can see that the car is able to show you the map on the cockpit you can see the you can change the view you can go in the normal view like that like the cruise control adaptive cruise control view or you can go uh, this is kind of simple view and then you have another view uh, that shows you also kind of a little bit of classic things uh, and also on the right side you can see rpm the music and different information and also the consumptions yeah so it's relatively cool but my favorite view is the view with the map here on the on the screen you can see the map uh, in the front there so it's, it's quite quite impressive now uh, we will talk in the moment about the map and about the things there but now I want to show you also the upper part here on the upper part you have also a button for the uh, glass roof so if you don't want that glass roof to be like that you can also close this curtain you have a curtain electric curtain there that will close and open so you can do it from here very simple when it's super sunny outside you have also touch LED, LED buttons very fancy and other than that you have a glass support something that I wish I have on my car glassy support is super useful and you have a mirror for the kids in the back there if you want to leave it like that so again super cool features the mirror look fabulous the visibility in the back it's great and I like the fact that the tiny edges of the mirror are super fancy the same as on my tesla model 3 uh, also up here you have led lights super fancy led light uh, with the mirror super premium and also handle and good quality on the roof so now let's go forward let's go to the to the good part i should say to the best part uh, i leave it to the end so first of all this is the new multimedia system amazing multimedia system i have a few video uh, uh, about it on my channel and also I have an interview with Sylvester Deschamps the engineer behind this multimedia system that he actually created and he say that it will come a lot of new features in the future uh, the thing is that it's incredible responsive it use a fast hardware chip processor and RAM and it works super super responsive every time you go in in a different look at this look how responsive it is it's one of the most responsive multimedia system outside on the market look at the map it's just boy it's in the first free multimedia system today on the market so when it comes to multimedia system Renault stay in top and look at this you want to go to a destination the great part is that you it use Google map and it's fabulous it's connected to the internet and it uses Google map that means you just press this button navigate to Paris 
Navigating to Paris. It's fabulous. You don't need even your phone. You don't need even Android or Apple phone. You just use the car. That's much easier than... Look at this. And the great part is that it shows you also um, the, the red mean that it's super traffic. You know that for some people that use Google Map, they know already when it's blue, it's free. When it's red, it's traffic and light traffic with, with orange. And it shows you the, the time, it shows you all the information. It's like Google Map, guys. So look how fast and look how easy it is to use it. Look how responsive it is. It's, it's crazy. I love it. So great job, guys, again with this multimedia. I'm, I'm super impressed all the time when I, when I test it. And also you can see that on the screen, on the, on the um, cockpit there. So ooh, fabulous. One of the best systems for sure one of the best even even Porsche doesn't have so responsive uh, multimedia system and even more yeah uh, it's it's crazy good now you can use Google Assist of course for many many functions uh, for example how many degrees are outside today today in Musedorf expect a high of minus three and a low of minus five crazy right crazy you can it's incredible and all these come from the car from the internet connectivity you don't even need to use your phone now down here you are already see those shortcuts for the uh, for the climatic system up here you have some shortcuts for the navigation for the multimedia here on the multimedia of course you can connect your apple carplay i will have a video separate video how how can you connect your apple carplay to this multimedia system so check out next days on the channel but you have radio, postcast, news uh, here on the media and also will come other, other, other great application in the future from what I heard. And then you have here application. This is kind of application drawer where you have all the applications that are installed on the car. I heard from uh, the engineer uh, that made this multimedia system, Sylvester Deschamps, he told me that will come Waze in the future. You will be able to install Waze, will come YouTube in the future and all many, many other apps that they are collaborate with. So ooh, looking forward for it. So great job, Renault. Again, great, great job. Here on the apps, you have Play Store. From the Play Store, if you sing in, then you can install a lot of application in the future. Calendar, Google Assist, News, uh, Settings. You have Device Settings. So on the Device Settings, it shows you when you pair a device. I will show you later. If you go to Settings here, those are the most important settings of the car so that you can access it also if you press the car there. And you go here, you have the car three different driving mode, comfort, echo, and sport mode, and also personalize. And if you go to personalize, you can configure it from here, how you like to have the engine, the steering effortless, and also vehicle dynamics. So life on board here, the ambient light. How cool is that? You can change the light from here. So this is, this is quite cool light intensity. You can do it much brighter and right now it's super super bright and also the climatic system it's super cool so you can personalize all those things uh, from here and also you can reset it to normal now here on the normal view you can go to consumption here you can see the consumption and information about the consumption you have the seats massage on your seats that comes on the car this is incredible in this price you have massage guys what what other car offer you in this price massage i mean 42,000 for an suv with massage relaxing lumbar intensity oh boy oh boy seat easy entrance visual feedbacks you can save those things here going back you have air quality here of course air purifier air recycling auto air recycling so how cool is that it's recycling the the air inside the the car i wish i have this button in my house so to press a button in the house and we'll recycle the air inside the house. Oh boy, that sounds really fun. That sounds good. Anyway, driving echo here, you can see it gives you some saving information, tips, uh, score and saving stuff. Oh, come on, stop this, it's too noisy. Um, then you go back, you have like driver assistance systems from here. You can activate and deactivate different driving features like following distance, blind spot, warning like driving monitoring lane keeping assist you can activate and deactivate them from here uh, all this i try it in the test drive video if you want to see it check it out and also you have a nice beautiful graphic on the right side here so i like that very much alert and vibration 
Then the speed management, here you can choose how you like to adjust the speed limits and uh, warning and settings. Advanced safety, uh, here you have also this, uh, if I'm not wrong, anticipation will warn you when you go close to other car. Then parking assist system, uh, by the way, the car comes with a lot of sensors and also with a system that uh, allow you to park automatic so it comes with park assist sonar and you can see here a lot of warnings around the car and in the back in the front rear warning front warning fabulous i mean in terms of safety features uh, the car it's it's full now go to vehicle access on the doors and hands free and you can choose from here how you like to have it uh, welcome sound and mirrors folding and stuff like that and driver lights adaptive vision pff, crazy the cockpit here uh, you can choose different volumes and stuff like that it's so complicated man i love it i mean it, it has so many things and here are the updates uh, and then you have the settings the most important settings uh, where you can change the sound for example settings you can see right here the sound for every uh, the units kilometer miles then you have the location bluetooth a storage profile system you can change also the language and yeah wherever anyway uh, if I'm not wrong it use Android uh, kind of Android it's like a tablet you know this multimedia system but overall I think I cover everything uh, I will have a separate video with um, Apple CarPlay how you can connect it but incredible nice screen guys so yeah love it um, that was all I think I cover everything I don't know if I missed something yes I missed something this talk behind here is for media so you can play with it and you can change the, the volume you can change the radio station or music and multimedia stuff so I will stop the engine right now also here you can see downloading the Google Assist you can make uh, updates automatically it's like a tablet you know it acts like a phone it's like you're having your phone in your car it, it's just crazy guys I don't know I'm saying I'm super impressed I review so many cars every day and I drive so many cars but this Renault really impressed me with, with a lot of features I mean to be able to have this computer in your car that allow you in the future to install different application like YouTube to watch movies and stuff like that, heated steering wheel, heated windshield, good good comfort on the seats and a fabulous price for the for the offer. My rating for this Renault Austral basis entry level version with all these options and with the price, I will give it a, a 10 really a 10. I'm super impressed with the car. The only thing I wish was different, maybe the trunk a little bit more practical to be a flat floor and to be the seats aligned with the trunk, you know, so it will be a flat floor. But other than that, the car is just perfect, man. I mean, I love the car. Anyway, that was the video. If you have a question, ask me down below whatever you want to ask. If you want to see the test drive with the same car, I have a separate video on my channel, so check it out. If you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Gallicar Garage in Schomburg. I will leave the link in the description. So if you want to buy the car, see the car, test drive the car, check them out. They are super nice. Also, thank you for watching. I really appreciate that you're watching my videos, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. That means a lot for me. So again, thank you for watching. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.